Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, here we are in a game called Expedition Antarctica and uh, yes, this is the first time <laughs> on this account so we're gonna try it out and uh, as you can see here we are at the base camp and uh, I skipped the tutorial because we don't need a tutorial just to go to the south pole right and uh, we have three items down here so we have a map looks like this and we have I think we're gonna need to go to three base camps before we're gonna get to Antarctica or the south pole I should say and uh, we have a water bottle which will come in handy I guess because I'm already starting to lose water uh, I don't really know can I if I drink it yeah, so then I have 90% left and uh, I think I should be able to refill this somewhere. I don't know where, maybe in this expedition center. No, take a look here. Here we have something. Yeah, so I've refilled the bottle of water now. Excellent. Expedition center. Here we can get some tools and I think, yeah, this, so this is an energy bar. Grab one of those. And we have some equipments question is do i need anything of this i think some of them are also robux items but uh, yeah maybe we can just try it <laughs> like this because we have great weather it's sunny it's still minus 40 degrees celsius and minus 40 degrees fahrenheit so that didn't really make any sense <laughs> but uh, yeah maybe we can start like this anyway i know already that the guide tends and the x no the guide tent and this uh, search and rescue. Those are game passes and this one I haven't really got a clue. Okay, so you can buy, I think it's like cosmetics. And I only have the daily reward. Yes, so I only have 100, so we're going to skip that. Practice zone, no. Timer, yeah, we can do a timer, but uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, we can do a timer. So let's start. <laughs> we will start like this. No backpack, no cool jacket, no special boots, nothing. We just gonna go like this. And most of these games are just like an obby where you're gonna reach, well, where you're gonna start from A and walk to B, basically. I already lost 1% because I almost slipped. And uh, let's see. Ah, we're gonna go up here. It's usually not that complicated to find the route and especially when you have great weather like this, it's really not a problem. I guess we can have worse weather because otherwise we wouldn't see the weather down here in the corner. And uh, yeah, some ladders, simple jump. I'm gonna check if we have... Yeah, so we have shift lock in this game, which is great when controlling the character. And uh, yeah, more ladders to jump across. Pretty obvious that you're gonna need to jump here. Yeah, we can actually follow those that we have in front of us. <laughs> so, more ladders, nothing special so far. But I guess it's gonna be much more trickier. Like this over here. I wonder, sometimes these ladders might be loose. But uh, that looks good so far. Easy start. We're gonna go into a cave. And uh, yeah, that was not really a cave, but okay. Small tunnel through the mountain. <laughs> and we have a waterfall. Nice. Okay, so we have something, some obstacle here. We have ice or snow blocks that falls down. It has also destroyed part of this bridge. I wonder if we can just jump back. Oof, that was close. <laughs> I, think, I think I might have been a little bit lucky there, but okay. So, we... I think we have to go down a little bit on these stairs. Yep, that worked. And uh, what's this? Oh, is it an avalanche? Do I need to take cover? It's just poor visibility. All right. Oh, okay. So you can fall down. So we're going to stay on high ground. I'm going to find our way up there. Oh, someone is already up there. Okay, so I guess we're going to go in that direction without falling down. That looks good. <laughs> I'm just totally dressed for this expedition, right? <laughs> I was expecting to lose actually some health or more energy. But maybe I do lose more energy. It's just that I'm not aware of it because I have nothing to compare against. What's this? So we're gonna be on the outside of the ladder. So that's when shift lock really helps to get good character control. 
and it's like a tightrope, but it's pretty wide, so not gonna not gonna be that difficult, I believe. Otherwise, you can do those in first camera view. That really helps if they are more narrow or the rope is thin. And uh, here we have advanced. What's that? Go up here. Let's see what that. You need five expeditions to enter this. Ah, okay, so. If you have, uh, I guess, if you have reached the South Pole five times, then you can go that route. Maybe gonna explore that one at a later point. Who knows? More ladders. I usually also, when I see a ladder, that's most likely gonna be a place where I need to go to. So we're just gonna follow any ladders that I see. And also these ref reflective poles. That, those will also help me. And uh, yeah, could almost fall down there. Oh, and it went dark. We have apparently gone through the first day. So now we are in the middle of the night. Or actually, it's 9 p.m. So it's about to become night. And this bridge is partly broken. So that was... It wasn't slippery or anything. So that's okay. And yeah, we can clearly see the route here during night time. That made it easier. So let's just follow this route and see where it leads. Okay, so we have like top of a mountain or something. What does it say? So dark. Ma Mount Kirkpatrick. Okay, highest point in... What does it say? Transarctic Mountains. Okay. So is this the highest point? Isn't this the highest point? Ah, okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay. More ladders. I guess we're gonna jump across. Like all ladders. Seems to be a narrow path up here. So we're gonna go up. Or oh, maybe it's not that narrow. When I <laughs> when I got closer, it was pretty wide actually. So still not really that challenging so far. And it definitely looks cold down there. Got some few tunnels. It's nice. I guess we're gonna go across. Okay, so we have a ladder down here. I didn't see it at first, so that could have ended up in falling damage. And another ladder. It should have like a flashlight or something. What was that sound? And uh, yeah, we're gonna go up here. Yes, we're gonna make a jump. We're gonna go up there. Slowly becoming more and more difficult, I can feel. And uh, yeah, we have... Uh, it's pretty clear where to go. We see another ladder, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down here where it seems to be very, very cold. Seems like it. It's like a warning sign or information. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so we have penguins. Oh, this sound is very loud. Hold on. I need to turn down the volume. So we have penguins, and uh, I don't know if they are hostile or anything. I just... And I... <laughs> it just makes a sound when you push it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh, what's this? He has a backpack. Oh, I can open it. What happened? Oh, I got an achievement. I can't really read what it says, but something with penguin. Oh yeah, okay, so I got an extra energy bar. Nice. Minus 81 degrees Celsius. Wow, okay. That's horrible. What's this? So, there's a red rope going down into the water and... Seals. Okay. I wonder if they are dangerous. I don't know. We're gonna go in first person view because that's usually how I swim. And okay, so we have air bubbles. I guess that uh, means that we have oxygen. Okay, so it seems to be very deep. I think I'm gonna stay pretty close to this rope. Okay, so let's follow this rope up here. Okay, so I think we are reaching the surface again. 
Uh, no, we are not. It's <laughs> it's continuing. It's going down again and up. Oh, it's long. It's really long. I'm starting to run out of oxygen. I hope I can make it. Shouldn't have stopped down there to listen on that sound. Maybe I lost valuable time. Oh, here we have it. Surface. Nice. All right. So we managed to get through the water obstacle. And up there is a helicopter. Is that like a, a search and rescue team or something? Is that also a helicopter? No. Doesn't look like a helicopter. What is that? Oh, it's a camp. Oh, have we reached the uh, base camp number one? Is this the place? Oh, take a look. I think we have reached base camp. Okay, okay so that was search and rescue. And then this is the base camp. Nice. So we lost 1% hit points uh, or 1% health. We have a need of drinking water. We still have decent amount of energy. So made it to camp. Nice. Uh, all right. So we're going to continue. I see a sign over there also. Is that like one of those advanced routes or something? Because I see this blue light on the pole. I think so. What does it say? Yeah, it says advanced. I think we can, if we take up the map, camp one. Yeah, and then you can see the dark route to the right next to camp one. So that's the advanced route. All right. So I think we're going to go up here instead. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Oh, wait a minute. Avalanche area. Next one mile. Do not stop. Okay. <laughs> I won't stop. I promise. I will keep a high pace. I got more money also. That's great. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I can check it out now. So game coins. No, that's how you buy coins. Boost. Ah, okay. So this is where you spend. Where am I going? Okay, now I'm a little bit lost. Maybe... That person nowhere. Oh, here we have it. Never mind. Yeah, don't stop, by the way. Wrong <laughs> wrong place and time to check the store. So, let's just keep running then, I guess. Man, she looks way more prepared than I do. She got all the gear and equipment. And I run around like this. All right. Oh, I can see a ladder up here. I suppose we're gonna go... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go around up there on the on the ledge. Oh, this is a narrow path. That works perfect. Nice. And uh, here we're gonna climb the wall, it seems. I'm gonna enable the shift lock again. Do like I always do. Works perfect. And I suppose we're going to go up here. And uh, yeah, okay, to the right. These uh, reflective poles makes it really, really easy to find the track, actually. And the weather is great, by the way. It's sunny. I can't say it's warm, though. Minus 53 degrees Celsius or minus 63 degrees Fahrenheit. These numbers, <laughs> I don't know how they made them up. Just a simple ladder. Starting to get low on water, by the way. And uh, where did the route go? Should I go down here? Or should I go up here? Maybe up. Let's go down here. Look around a little bit. Yep. Okay. So here we have ladders again. Makes it easier. And okay. So we have... Okay. So we're going to go on this side of, of this ladder. We're not going to fall down as someone else already been killed i see someone down there okay and uh, yeah make a jump up here and uh, we are good to go again nice So this is a much higher top, by the way. And I think I'm going to drink a little bit of water before I continue. So we have 100% on the water bottle. So let's see. I fill 10% each time I use the bottle. We can fill it up to... I can make it 100%, by the way. So the bottle is almost empty now. But I think we can refill it on each and every base camp, hopefully. Energy-wise, it's really looking good. And it seems to be very windy here. So we have Mount Winson. Highest mountain in Antarctica. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you have made it to Mount Winson. And I got 50 coins. 
oh new avalanche area during well the next one mile so we're not gonna stop so we have an advanced route we can't take it we're gonna go down here the beginner's route and uh, here's someone has failed it seems icy ladder okay so ice i usually just jump because that makes it easier since you won't slip on ice when you are in the air it's only when you touch the ladder ever so quickly and it seems to work just fine gonna go up here yeah i think so and uh, let's see when we encounter the next obstacle Okay, so where are we going? We are gonna go down, okay, all the way down. And it seems like we're gonna go to the other side. Is this like the avalanche area or something? Okay, more ladders, uh, well, nothing really special with these. And uh, let's see, something going on on the opposite side, so we're gonna go across, oh, whoa. Almost didn't jump, but I did, so I'm, I'm safe. And we have a rope, I guess we're gonna go across, that could be tricky, it's down on the side of the mountain try to find a way so hopefully it's gonna be down here over the this edge see okay so we have something here uh, question is am I gonna use shift lock or first person view can do it like this I think pretty wide it makes this uh, horrifying sound though <laughs> like it's gonna break apart walk a little bit careful here so I don't know if these surfaces are slippery or not and uh, looks good so far and another tightrope oh, the camera angle is horrible here uh, let's see whoa 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 <laughs> that was a little bit close too close for comfort <laughs> okay so let's see I'm gonna continue over here Someone has fallen down there. I can see a body of someone. And we have another tightrope. A little bit close there again. And it seems like we are gonna go down. Alright. Yeah, let's do that then. I guess. So the south pole is not on a mountain. So we shouldn't be needing to get that far up or high up. Uh, oh, base camp. We have a base camp. Base camp number two. Drink some water. So the water bottle is now empty. But we have 98% water. So that's uh, still very good. And this is the search and rescue, I suppose. And we have an achievement, a badge. We can take this uh, checkpoint. And we're going to continue. And uh, yeah, just like uh, the beginning, we have some jumps to do to get across. These are a little bit slippery. They are like slow in acceleration, so you can't really get the normal walking speed. And I touched the water and I lost a little bit of health. And is it starting to get dark now just because of that? Oh, we're gonna go up here. Oh, we get bad, bad weather now. So we're gonna get the uh, thunder. Thunder, that's no good. And uh, I don't really know where I'm going right now. Am I gonna go up here? <laughs> oh no, I'm lost. I need to go back a bit. So I saw this one. Where am I going to go after that? Is it over here? Oh, I can see something here. Okay, so now it became a lot more tricky. Oh, ladders. I see ladders. I see two ladders. 
Oh, this one is hanging loose. This one requires a jump. Are we gonna try this one? I'm gonna go over here. Jump across. Icy ladder. Okay, so we're gonna jump a lot, I guess. So it's not that slippery. I think the sound here is pretty loud. I wonder if I should just... Should I just turn it down completely? It's either very loud or nothing at all. I kind of like the sound, but at the same time you need to be able to hear me. Uh, not louder, so oh, I can't make up my mind. I have it on the lowest. Let's see. Um, can I maybe adjust volume in the game? No. Nothing like that. No settings. Nothing. Oh, now it disappeared. I think. Oh, and I need to know where to go. Whoa. What happened? Oh, okay. Bad weather is over. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, now I can clearly see where I'm going. So I'm going to go across here. Am I going back again? No. Let's get across here. They are. This is. It's a really weird feeling to stand on these. As you can see, they are. They are moving. It's like a conveyor belt or something. So it, they move you in different directions, which is a little bit annoying, but also enhances the level of difficulty. What's this? Oh, here is ice. Are we gonna go over there? Some darker spot over there. This looks frozen. Okay. Oh, it's breaking. Okay. So we have ice that breaks. And okay, so it became dark. And uh, now it's pretty clear. We have different entrances here in the mountain. And I wonder which one to choose. Ah, let's start with the one to the left first. And if it's wrong, we will go to the next one. Okay, so that one wasn't really an entrance. But this one is an entrance, so we're gonna go inside. It's minus 75 degrees Celsius and a minus 103 degrees Fahrenheit. That's insane. Coldest place on this planet, that's for sure. Uh, oh, we need to do a jump here, it seems. Gonna avoid the water. I don't know if you will lose hit points if you touch it. Maybe I can try it out. 95% Okay, so it doesn't seem to hurt you. Oh, it does hurt you. Okay <laughs> All right, so let's see we have another ladder. So of course we're gonna go and use that More strange sounds Spooky sounds. Oh wait, was it? Yeah, okay. Oh, is it a labyrinth? Should I jump across? Ah, ooh, okay. And uh, what about this place? Oh, I'm gonna be lost. I can feel it. I'm gonna be lost. Oh, someone is standing over there. Is that a player or an NPC? I have no idea. I must go there. Oh, that's a player. Okay, he's in trouble. <laughs> he has no gear, just like me. Well, then I'm at least I'm... Is it a helicopter? It's the rescue team for him. Nice. <laughs> right. Well, lucky him. But uh, yeah, I'm on an expedition. I'm gonna reach the South Pole. That's my goal. I'm not gonna use a helicopter. Where am I going? Okay, so I see this sign. I... Whoa. Almost slipped. And uh, I see ladder. Okay, so we're gonna jump. Nice. And uh, another ladder. And someone <laughs> down there who has uh, failed. Okay, so we have many ladders here. Different directions. Okay, so we're gonna be on the outer side this time. So we're gonna use the shift lock. Oh, it's the helicopter. Nice.
So there is a sign here saying something. Let's see what it is. Penguins. The penguin sign again. Oh, and something is going on over here. Is it base camp? Could it be base camp? I think it is base camp. It looks like a base camp. And uh, what's the... Oh, airplane. It's a broken airplane. Oh, did you say something? Can I push you? <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> All right, so we have base camp. Which base camp is this? Is it... It's number three, isn't it? I think it is. Nice, we get another badge. And uh, can I get warm in here? Can I stand in the fire? Oh, yeah. That's that's better. That should keep me warm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in this circle. Yes, base camp. Excellent. And uh, I guess we're going to continue. I see a ladder. I think it's a ladder or a rope over there. Beardmore Glacier. One of the largest valley glacier on Earth. Okay. And today in Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I assume we're gonna go across these ladders and not fall down. That's a good start. Uh, so we have more ladders over there. Here we have a one that is pretty close. So it's like a labyrinth, I guess. If I jump across here. I see something down here, so maybe we can use that. I go here and up there and across this ladder. Like I said earlier, if I see a ladder, I really always aim for <laughs> uh, those ladders to get across. Oh, we get daylight. That's perfect. I like that because it's starting to become a little bit difficult to find the route. Okay, so we have a ladder coming up from below does it mean that i'm gonna go down maybe so if i jump over here okay so it's clearly some kind of path down here to reach that ladder can i go down here without getting killed oh, i don't really know this looks dangerous i'm gonna try it out Okay, so I succeeded. I'm down here now. Didn't lose any hit points. And I can get to this ladder. So we're gonna do a shift lock again. Really helps a lot when jumping like that. And more ladders. And I think... Can I jump across here? Don't want to fall down, you know. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Because if I'm down here, then I won't be able to see this perspective. And then it's going to be a real labyrinth and a challenge. Am I going to go up here? No? Oh, I really don't know where to go. This looks a little bit man-made, so <laughs> I'm going to follow that first to see where it goes. Oh, I see something over here. I see ladders. That's good. Question is, how am I gonna reach that? Do I need to go down again? This definitely looks strange, a little bit sus. <laughs> so maybe I can jump over here because this is a pretty low point. Oof. Yeah, I could barely, barely. But can I go across here? But then I go back, won't I? Yeah, so it started to be a little bit difficult. Ooh, I almost fell. Uh, uh, wait a minute. So there's something down here. Seems like it at least. Is this a way up if you fall down? Or is this a way down to reach the ladders? I don't know. We're gonna. I'm going to follow it just to explore a little bit. Oh, I'm starting to get low on energy and the water. Yeah, energy, I have energy bars, but water, I forgot to refill the bottle. I have zero percent, but we have ladders here, so that's great. Uh, we're going to go up here, jump across. Seems to be pretty 
fine. Not that difficult. All right. And uh, where am I going? Am I gonna go down here? Um, feels like it ended here. Am I gonna go up there? Hmm. Can I go down here? And if I do, can I get up again? This is a decision that has to be made. Uh, I don't like this place. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? This looks like a slope. Here I can walk. That's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. And uh, no reflective poles or anything. I hear a sound. If I rotate the camera like this... I hear sound over there, and if I hear, have it like this, it's to the right. Oh, something over here, and it says south, so the direction when you turn around, as you can see, south. And I'm gonna go to the south pole, so that makes sense, and I see something, I see airplanes. <laughs> I see airplanes! Nice, I think we're gonna do it. This looks like the end. We have flags over there, and the airplanes. There's music. I don't really like to hear that music. We're gonna turn it off because it might be copyright. And uh, yes, here we are. Loser. Oh, I should go. <laughs> I should go to the South Pole, not the airplanes. This is the goal. Take a look at this. Yay, I did it. And three badges. Nice. So there you have it. I did it with uh, <laughs> not that much energy left. And uh, we have uh, not that much water left either. <laughs> but uh, yes, that was the expedition to Antarctica. And we're going to take the airplane back. I think that will be great. So, private jet? Yeah, I want to... Ah, okay, so that was Robux. Ah, we're going to go to the standard plane, I guess. And, uh, okay. Now what? Ah, okay, so there's eight seats and there's a countdown until I guess it takes off. But uh, yeah, I'm all by myself. So I got, uh, well, it's like a private jet, <laughs> pretty much. I'm all by myself here, so that's good. Is there even a pilot in this plane? I don't really know. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so we have, we have takeoff. So, all right. In any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video. If you would like to see more videos from Roblox, please subscribe and uh, yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.